The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he speaks about three men who were traveling. And while they were traveling, there was a strong rain that came before them. So they looked nearby a place where they could shelter themselves. So they saw a cave in a mountain, so they entered that cave. While they were there, a massive rock fell and blocked the entrance of that cave. Three of them tried to move that rock, they couldn't. They will scream and no one can hear. But these people had a bit of Iman in them, some Iman. Now they said to themselves, who else beside Allah can hear us and help us? Why don't we intercede to Allah Azza wa Jal with our good deeds? But they know each other. They're not the best of people. But obviously one of them probably done one good deed in their life. So the first one started and he said, Oh Allah, I had parents who are alive. And every day they used to go out in the bush and farm to bring my living day or to bring my sustenance for my children. I will always bring milk for my parents to drink. I would never ever let anyone from my children including myself and my wife to drink that milk before my parents. So one night I came late when my parents went to sleep and my children were starving waiting for that milk to drink. But I refused that anyone drinks that milk before my parents. So I stood beside their bed waiting for them to wake up. Until they wake up at Fajr dawn. And I gave them the cup of milk for them to drink. While my children are screaming and crying out of hunger. Then I gave my children that milk. He said, Oh Allah, if you see that I've done this action sincerely for your sake, then save us from what we are in now. So what happened? The massive rock moved. Allahu Akbar. The massive rock moved. But it was not enough for them to exit. So the second one said, Oh Allah, I had a cousin, female cousin. That I loved her, but did not get the chance to marry her. And one day she was in need of money. So she came to me. And I said to her, I would not give you that money unless you allow me to do with you what a husband does with his wife. Because of the pressure that she had, she accepted. So when I was alone with her and I came near her, she said to me, Fear Allah and do not break my virginity early with rights. So I pulled away and I walked away. He said, Oh Allah, if I did the action sincerely from my heart for your sake, then save us from what we are in now. So the rock moved again, but it was not enough for them to exit. The third one said, Oh Allah, I had a business, a farm, and I had someone working for me, and he worked for me for a few days. And then he walked away from the job without claiming his income, without claiming his pay. So I invested his pay until he came to me after a few years and he said to me, look, I have payments. They did not pay me a while ago, so I want these payments. So I told him, look at this valley there. Everything that you see in that valley is yours. I invested your payment. He said, are you joking with me? He said, no. By Allah, he took every single thing and did not even leave anything behind and I did not even stop him. He said, oh Allah, if I did that sincerely for your sake, then save us from our way in. So the rock moved and it was enough for them to exit. See the good deeds? See the consequences of the good deeds?